Welcome to the war from Boise, Idaho. This is your host, Adam Graham. If you have a comment, send it to me, box13 at greatdetectives.net. We've consistently received a great listener feedback regarding our uh, times when we've played uh, some Western and country uh, music programs, and so we're going to do so again with an all-Western uh, program from a command performance. Now, I will note that the host, Bob Hope, is not really much of a a figure in westerns, though he did play in a comic western. But he does a good job hosting this, and you'll have some uh, great western stars and a little bit of a western sketch thrown in. Plus, the western riff on Thanks for the Memories is something to hear. So here now is the all-western program of command performance from June 24th of 1944. USA, the greatest entertainers in America, is requested by you, the servicemen and women of the United States Armed Forces throughout the world. Command performance, presented this week and every week, till it's over, over there. Well, this is Ken Carpenter, man, and we're hitting the trail to all APOs and FBOs to answer your letters to Command Performance, Armed Forces Radio, Los Angeles, USA. Tonight, we're going to answer 9,037,003 requests for an all-Western command performance. Sure enough, we're going to set the West back 500 years. Yes, sir, we're going hog wild tonight with big names hogging around like a herd of stampeding steers. Women as frisky as cotton horses and stars from yard to breakfast. So rest your hats and coats and meet your favorite rib tickler. That prevaricator, fighter, wild horse rider, and right spot of a windmill fixer, Bob Hope. <laughs> Wonderful. How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? This is Bob. Where are we? Yes, this is Bob. I'm an old cowhand hope coming to you from the West where men are men, they say, and the women are happy to keep it that way. I, uh... I just got back from a dude ranch. That's where everybody goes to rough it on their weekends. I did a little riding. I was on a black horse. Roy Rogers was on a brown, brown horse, and W.C. Fields was still on his white horse. <laughs> I, I was riding around on my horse, singing deep in the heart of Texas, and in about 15 minutes, I got a callus near Dallas. <laughs> and I like those cowgirls in the West. I wouldn't, wouldn't say they're bow-legged. They're just well-built in a roundabout sort of way. <laughs> But yes, sir, tonight we're all set for a big Western show. I'm packing a 45. Roy Rogers is packing a 45. Frank Sinatra's packing a six or seven eighths. <laughs> but enough of this, fellas. Let's light a Chuck, fill the loop, and laugh through them Andrews sisters. You've written command performances for their version of Pistol Packing Mama. Yes, sir, their record of Pistol Packing was big and a toad frog puffed up with swamp gas. And they're going to sing it for the gang at 937, include a sourdough blizzard, coffee pot Leon, curly cheek, smiling Jack, and plugger Polly. Coming up to the lick hog, here's America's favorite gal trio and the favorite of the AEF, the Andrews Pistol. <laughs> Cussed and cried and said he lied and wished that 
that he was dead. Oh, lay that pistol down, babe. Lay that pistol down. Pistol pack your mama. Lay that pistol down. I'll be your regular mama, and I'll put that gun away. Oh, lay that pistol down, babe. Lay that pistol down. Pistol back in mama. Lay that pistol down. Oh, we're three top gals. I found a deep down, I passed away. Oh, wait, I got no pals, so the old dog. They don't like the way we play. Oh, we're rough and rude, cute, cute, cute. Oh, bad John, deep as a sugar quill. She's a damn me now. Sisters, brother, them gals show sure do bellowed out real sweet like. <laughs> well, gang, this being an all-Western command performance, here's a boy from the wide open spaces who can really brush me up in the brushwood lingo. That root and toot and top hand and tough and a two-bit T-bone, Cotton Seed Clark, right here. <laughs> Hold that horse out there. He'll be right back. Yes, I'm walking. Hi there, Cottonseed boy. Hope, what in the cat hair are you talking about? You, hmm? <laughs> you got me, Cottonseed. That's the trouble. I want you to coach me on this Western lingo so I can introduce our guests in Western style. Would you help me? I'd just soon to eat a bug. <laughs> Tell me, Leatherface, how would I introduce Carol Landis, for example? Well, Hope, for a cute little filly like her, now you got to get real fancy like. Because mm-hmm. believe me, brother, that Landis gal's pretty in a banter hen with a brood of chicks. <laughs> <laughs> Well, shut my coop. Uh, Cottonseed? <laughs> Cottonseed, boy, that's rough language. It taint neither, Hope. It's a high-class compliment. It it's is. almost as good as saying that gal's prettier than a sow with a litter of little pigs. <laughs> well, I think I'm catching on, Cottonseed. I'll introduce an act right now. Would you rather hear me sing or would you rather hear somebody else? Well, Hope, if I had my druthers, <laughs> I'd druther hear Roy Rogers. Roy Rogers? What does he do? <laughs> Are you kidding? Look, he's the king of the cowboys, Hope. That's all, just the king of the cowboys. He's going to sing tonight with the riders of the Purple Sage. What do they do? <laughs> Two English eggs, L.A. Boy, you've been living in a gopher hole. Oh, don't, don't, don't. Now, look, I'll show you what to do. The riders of the Purple Sage are singing out on the open range. Now, let's go, boys. <laughs> I want to ride my pony over the prairie out on the open range. Hurting the cattle, dusty and weary out on the open range. I want to see the sunset over the mountain, leaving the moon so plain. I want to hit the saddle, turn lazy cattle out on the open range. I want to hear the wind blow over my campfire, brushing the smoke away. Holding my blanket there by the campfire, waiting the break of day. I want to see the dawn break there in the morning, making me feel so strange. I'll get my thoughts together, then we'll hit the leather out on the open range.
Say, yes, sir, the riders of the Purple Sage, and here's the king of the cowboys himself, Roy Rogers, right there. Thank you. Well, thank you, Bob, and just take a seat till the wind kind of blows over. Fellas, when you wrote to Command Performance asking me to do a little yodel for you, listen to the rhythm of the range, I hightailed it in here as fast as a long-eared jackrabbit. So the riders of the Purple Sage are going to kind of help me out on it, so let's get started, boys. Listen to the rhythm of the rain, the reel and rock and rhythm of the rain. You've heard the old bazooka and the king of jazz, but have you felt the tickle that this rain rhythm has? Dancing to the rhythm of the rain, the reel and rock and rhythm you can't change. Now Grandpa burned his crutches, he won't stay at home. Senses world rhythm has gotten his bones, and he's dancing to the rhythm, dancing to the rhythm, dancing to the rhythm of the rain. Listen to the rhythm of the rain, the rootin' tootin' rhythm of the rain. You've heard the cowhand music and you've heard him sing. Have you seen that cowhand shoot a horse fly on the wing? Shootin' to the rhythm of the rain. Shot for shot is always fair exchange. Now in the land of cattle, the six gun is law. And you get a medal if you shoot your mother in law. So be shootin' to the rhythm, shootin' to the rhythm, shootin' to the rhythm of the rain. Howdy, you loop, you loop, you loop, you loop, you loop, Thank you, Roy. Beautiful suit. Looks like a Western Orson Welles. That's beautiful. <laughs> Take that coat back and give it a Crosby. Say, Cottonseed. <laughs> Cottonseed, do you want to help me introduce Carol Landis? I'd just soon too as eat a bug. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, personally, so far, Bob... Too um, it's too nice. So far. <laughs> you see, Bob... You got uh, to eat? Haven't you got any food rations? Take it for Yeah, if you're talking oh, about, you about Carol Landis... Well, where was that? <laughs> you see, Bob, I ain't much of a hand for women. You ain't, huh? Yeah, no, women are too much like elephants for me. Too much like elephants? How come? Well, I like to look at them, but I'd show his cat hair hate to own one. <laughs> <Too poor. laughs> well, stick around and change your mind, Cotton Seed. Fellas, Carol Landis, right now. Okay, get back in the seats. All right, now. <laughs> Hiya, Carol. Want to sing a Western song with me, honey? Well, I just as soon, too, as eat a bug. Yeah. <laughs> Are you on that diet, too? <laughs> well, maybe if... Maybe... Maybe if you had your druthers, you'd druther play a love scene with me. No, I'd druther eat a bug. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, Carol, I didn't know y'all was a Western tomato. Well, scratch my back with a 45. You didn't? <laughs> I rang a long his dance from Dodge City to San Antonio. You've done what? Uh, I rang a long his dance. You rang a long his What are you on? Oh, no. What? I even used to pick grapefruit with a six gun. You shoot down grapefruit with a six gun? That's a laugh. I bet you couldn't hit the floor with a handful of hominy. Oh, yeah? See that cuckoo clock over there? In one second, when that cuckoo comes out to say three o'clock, I'll drill him. Well, here he comes. Cuckoo. One. Cuckoo. Two. Say, could I have another hour to think it over? Uh, Hope, I don't care about shooting anyway. I care about singing. Come on, you brand runner. Untie your legs and I'll tell you my background. Well, let me see it, honey. Let's do it. 
from an old cow hand. Where are you from, baby? From the Rio Grande. Well, I'm two gun hole personally. Won't you step up, hole? Why, uh, sure. What you got to offer? Won't you name your brand? I'll have a double Mickey Finn just for a party. I'm a two gun gal, never had no fun. Stop Tried me. to rope me a man, but the darn fool run. Slow, when the rope slipped off, had to use my gun. Yippee, I yo, Yip, 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 yippee, I yo, I'm an old cow hand. Where from, Jasper? Well, I'm from down in the Rio Grande. Shake, father. And my legs ain't bowed. You know this. Steady. <laughs> and the teeth ain't tanned. Oh, I know every trail in the Lone Star State. Bet on Crosby's horse, then sat down to wait. He paid ten to one, came in ten hours late. Yippee, I, oh, I, yeah. Yippee, yeah, yeah. Yippee, I, oh, yeah, yeah. Hooks an old cow hand, I said, an old cow hand. From the Rio Grande, I said, the Rio Grande. Fight his heart, duck's fine, I said, his heart, duck's fine. For Hollywood and Vine, for Hollywood and Vine. Where the wolves ride around in the Cadillac. And the Crosby stork gets the minion laugh. And the knock gives out with the autograph. Oh, yippee-i-o-i-yay. Yip, yip, yip. Yippee-i-o-i-yay. Thank you, Carolina. Thank you, honey. And men, our all-Western command performance goes galloping along the international range... With that fellow who's got a voice that's prettier in a bull calf bawling for his mother. Yes, sir, when this hombre croons, the gals jump around like a jackass eating cactus. <laughs> Fellas, Frank Sinatra. Right there. Nice to see you on your feet again. <laughs> I got some news for you. You got a line. <laughs> Frankie, how about singing that famous Western ditty, San Antonio Rose? Well, I'd just as soon as to eat a bug. Yeah. <laughs> Anything would help you. <laughs> Man, here are those swell riders of the Purple Sage. Three of the best singers ever straddled a saddle. And we'll spread out around this here microphone and plant that San Antonio rose for you. Within my heart lies a melody, a song of old San Antonio, where in dreams I live with a memory beneath the stars all alone. It was there I found beside the Alamo Enchantment strange as the blue up above A moonlit past that only she would know Still hears my broken song of love Moon in all your splendor, no only my heart Call back my rose, rose of sand and toad Lips so sweet and tender Like petals falling apart Speak once again Of my love, my own Broken song, empty words I know Still live in my heart all alone For that moon lit past by the Alamo And rose, my rose of sand and tone Moon in all your splendor, no only in my heart Call back my rose, rose of sand and tone Lips so sweet and tender, like petals falling apart Speak once again of my love, my own Broken song, empty words I know Still live in my heart all alone for that moon lit past by the Alamo And the rose, my rose of San Antonio Rose, my rose of San The Corning Command Theater goes west when well, it ought to go south. Tonight, it's a smashing drama of the old days, starring Bob Hope and called 
The Road to Texas, or Jerk Along Cassidy. <laughs> Hope, Sinatra, and Roy Rogers. What an assembly of men. (laughs) And Carol Landis. What an assembly. (laughs) As our scene opens, our two heroes, Sinatra and Hope, walk into the office of Sheriff Rogers to apply for a dangerous mission. Sit right down, men, and chew keen. What's your name? Tex. Tex. That's right, Tex. Where are you from, Tex? New Jersey. (laughs) This here is my pal, Poison Sinatra. Poison Sinatra? Better known as No Vitamin Flintheart. (laughs) Yeah, Chef, we come to help to clean up the Seattle town. Say, are you old cowboy? Well, what do I look like? You look like something I shove up and down my rifle barrel. You sure look like a funny cowboy, Shorty. Why? I got my shaps on, ain't I? Yeah, but you're supposed to wear pants, too. (laughs) Now, listen, yeah, Sheriff. What the fire? Does we get the job as your deputies or don't we? Well, I ain't a saying you do and I ain't a saying you don't. You ever been in jail? Stranger, people don't ask questions down where I come from. (laughs) They don't, huh? Why not? Nobody knows the answer. (laughs) Okay, I'll give you the job as the deputies. The first thing you have to do is clear up the Landis Cabaret, the roughest spot in the West. How'd you boys like to tangle with Miss Landis? Well, well just, just a suit to eat, eat a bug. <laughs> okay, come on, let's get on our horses. Get up. Get up. Get up. I guess we should have gotten the saddles first. <laughs> Well, come on, boys. The place is right here ahead of us. Just a little piece down the road. There it is, the Landis Cabaret. We'll go right in together. You first, Poison. Right now? Yeah, just rush right in. Take it on this mic to hold you up, boys. <laughs> okay, here goes. Stick him up, everybody. I'm Poison Sinatra, the toughest hombre in the West. And I got this gun pointing at you. You're all scared, ain't you? <laughs> when television comes in. Yeah, we're all scared. Why? Well, Chuck, I don't want to be the only one. Listen here, son. Don't you take another step. I'll show you I mean business. I'll just take my rifle, put it to my shoulder, and pull the trigger. And... <laughs> And now don't nobody move till I pick myself up. (laughs) Everybody step back. We're going to clean up the joint. I wouldn't move in so fast, stranger. I'll pull a bullet right through your brain. You must be an expert marksman. Quiet, Super Mouse. <laughs> hey, you're a girl, ain't you? Yeah, how'd you guess? Oh, you can't fool us. We've been to county fairs before. <laughs> uh, pardon me, miss. Uh, didn't I see you once in a moving picture? Oh, don't be silly, Roy. She ain't Gene Autry. What? <laughs> I know she ain't Gene Autry, but she's got a shape like his guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Landis, we hear you're running a crooked joint. Well, why don't you take your hat off when you're talking to a lady? I can't get it off. Why not? Ten-gallon hat, eleven-gallon head. <laughs> you strike me as a man who's been around horses a lot. I do, huh? Yes. You think Lady Esther would help? <laughs> Come on, Lana. Come on, Lana. Come along. <laughs> I'm a lot peaceable like. We're going to lock up this year gambling joint. Now, wait. I'll show you this place is on the level. Now, here's the roulette wheel. I'll spin it for you. 
I'll spin it again. Hey, get me off here. I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> Now make your bets, gentlemen. Okay, I'll bet $500 on the red. I'll bet $500 on the black. And I'll bet $500 on the green. Well, all right. Here goes. Well, what do you know? Scotch plaid. <laughs> well, this is the end. I'm going to pinch you. In the line of duty? Where else? <laughs> you can see I got my gloves on. <laughs> You ain't gonna take me alive. Don't move. I got you covered. Watch out. You're pointing that gun at me. I'm wounded. I'm wounded. Quick, somebody get a bandage. Oh, I'll rip off a hunk of my dress. No use talking. I gotta get wounded again. <laughs> If you've been sweating out another Andrew sister's number, you're in. Here they are, Patty Laverne and Maxine. <laughs> Patty, would you gals like to sing your new hit tune, Deep Down in the Valley? This is Sue Tuna's Eat a Bug. And fellas, thanks a million for the swell letters you sent us, care of command performance. And a quick hello to 942, including Wimpy, Siesta, Kingfish, Pete and Repeat, Curly, Glimp, Dilly Dally with the baby blue eyes, and Sweetie Pie. And here's a hello to the bunch in Rome. In fact, love to the whole AEF and hope you like this. On your mark, get set, get on. Down in the valley, valley so low. Late in the evening. Thank you very much. That does it, fellas. Got to close up the command performance corral and get our boots off for the night. Got to turn down the lights till next week. Excuse me there, partner. Carol Anders. I'm right back in this here barn dance. I didn't get a chance to use my 45. I'll shoot out the lights. Go ahead, Carol. Shoot out all the lights. You did it, but you missed one light, Carol. Gee, it's dark in here. <laughs> Robert Hope, you stop that. Good night, fellas. <laughs> Service. <laughs>
for today. If you uh, have a comment, email me, box13 at greatdetectives.net. I welcome your story or that of loved ones who served during World War II. Ken Curlin provides our opening theme music, kencurlin.com. I am your host, Adam Graham. This uh, series is provided as a service of the Great Detectives of Old Time Radio, greatdetectives.net.